The peak of the Perseid meteor shower will be taking place this weekend and the weather is looking fantastic for your opportunity to view those fireballs in the sky. So first, let's talk about where the Perseid meteor shower comes from. Well, it starts as Earth moves through the debris trail from the comet Swift Tuttle. It was last seen in 1992. It only comes around about every 130 years, but comets are made up from rock and ice, and so it leaves a debris trail behind it. And as those bits of rock and ice burn up in Earth's atmosphere, as Earth passes through that debris field, that creates those beautiful beautiful fireballs that the Perseid meteor shower is known for. They also leave long lasting trails and can be very colorful too, which is why the Perseids are many folks favorite meteor shower. If you have one of those of the year. Now, where can you see it? Well, if you go outside and look to the north northeast on Saturday night, and again on Sunday night near the constellations of Perseus and Cassiopeia, that is where the radiant point will be. That's where it's going to appear that those meteors are coming from. And again, this is going to be occurring on Saturday night, Sunday night, and maybe even again overnight Monday night as well as this meteor shower reaches its peak, possibly of 90 meteors per hour or more. Now that obviously can fluctuate and that radiant point is going to move throughout the night. The good news is the forecast is looking good, especially when it comes to the moon phase. The moon is going to be getting into its first quarter, so about 50% illuminated, but it will set by around midnight each night, meaning that the sky will be nice and dark overnight and into the dawn hours, giving you the best opportunity to see that radiant point as those meteors are lifting further into the sky overnight. They often tend to be most active and most easily seen getting close to dawn, judging by previous Perseid meteor showers. So how can you watch these? Well, as I mentioned, the forecast is good as far as the moon is concerned. And when it comes to the weather too, we're expecting clear skies, very comfortable temperatures. In fact, you may even need a light jacket as lows will be down into the upper 50s and low 60s each night. The key is to find a dark space well away from city lights and light pollution. Then you need to give your eyes about 20 to 30 minutes to adjust to that darkness. And yes, that means not scrolling on your phone and you can use a red lens flashlight too to help reduce any of the light that you may need getting to the spot that you're going to be sitting or laying in. Grab a blanket, a chair and a snack, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Again, the peak will be happening Saturday night into Sunday morning and again Sunday night into Monday morning. I hope you enjoy viewing the Percy and Meteor Shower this weekend.